writers of Mr. Bonarelli are so divorced from reality, just like their daddy is divorced two times, to any <laughs> normal person that hears what you are saying to go, really? You genuinely, legitimately radioactive individual, five foot four, can't grow a normal beard, literally has zero normal friends, constantly in a state of panic, duking it. Don't watch these on stream. The moment of the shooting of visitors in the Crocus Hall. Bro, I can't imagine being in this mall. This guy is just like on this catwalk above, just like filming this and leaning over and filming it. Holy shit. How do you get away from this? Did they just get in a car and drive away? Okay. I just wanna I just wanna be rock solid and crystal clear in this, okay? Do you put your tongue on your teeth or something? No, my tongue goes, my ordinary tongue goes to the left, like the front left. It's not placed correctly in my mouth when I make an S sound, but it sounds relatively normal. Um, I, I used to say it like this when I was in school using the side of my tongue. So now I use like the front left of my tongue, but it's still not correct. This, this is around where the S is supposed to be placed. Like if I speak like this, hold on. Okay, if I, if I, these are where I say my S is right now. You can see my jaw move a little bit because my tongue is going to the side of my mouth. This is closer to the correct placement of where the S is supposed to go. But even though my lips aren't moving now, the S, obviously it sounds, it sounds like I have a very noticeable lisp when I speak like this. I don't know if I just, if I use, if I use, 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 <laughs> Jesus, if I use that S for, a few weeks, maybe it'll sound better, but maybe I'll correct over time. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'll probably, I'll do like a, after my, um, after I, I think next week is the last week of my Invisalign and then I switch to like the permanent trays or whatever. I might, um, I'll try to find like a speech pathologist and just correct it. You probably change your opponent's mind more often than you think because people often come around to arguments afterwards, even if they fight them really hard at the moment. Maybe, who knows? Um, do you have a TMJ problem? No, thank God, no. I used to grind, or I grind my teeth a lot, or I used to, I have my Invisalign in, so I don't know if it counts as grinding anymore, but I don't have any TMJ shit. Oof, the weirdest thing I've noticed on some girls with, that have TMJ issues is if you, if they're really sensitive to like neck or ear kissing or whatever, if you're kissing their neck or ear, you could hear their jaw clicking and popping while you're doing it. Oh! 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 Ooh. <laughs> now say, step away from the fair maiden like that. Good one. Sorry for changing the topic a bit, but wasn't the two-state solution already implemented by the creation of the Emirate of Transjordan? It was actually a bigger chunk of Palestine mandate. Wow, good point. You and Assange should be kissing, not fighting. Okay. Um, okay. Let me just run through this super quick. Norm tweeted out, Moron Specialis. I have been challenged on one and only one point in the Lex Friedman debate. Here is the relevant excerpt from the official transcript. I filled in the legal term that I used and placed it in uppercase. I don't know if you use the phrase dola specialis, that the international part of genocide, mween. I don't know that term. Me. I think it's called dola specialis. It's the most important part of genocide, which is proving it is a highly special intent to commit genocide. Uh, it's possible that Israel could. That's mens rea. Yes, I understand the state of mind, but for genocide, it's called dola specialis. It's a highly special intent. Did you read the case? Yeah. It is a highly special intent, inaudible. He says, mens rea, criminal intent from the Latin for guilty mind, denotes the legal principle at stake, while dola specialis, criminal intent to commit genocide, denotes one application of it. Here is an example of the usage from the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Okay, so... He's, we're, he's kind of correct here. I would say he's correct here, if I'm not being really picky. But the problem is, if I say the more precise term, why would you correct me with a less precise term? Like, if I say, I think the example I gave to like yesterday, if I say, I drive a Mustang, and somebody goes, 
You mean afford? What? Or more aptly, if I say tomorrow, um, I'm going to a racetrack and they only allow certain types of cars on there. Um, for instance, I have to bring my Mustang. They won't, they'll only allow uh, Mustangs on the track. And somebody would say, you mean a Ford? No, they don't use, all, not all Fords. I mean, a Mustang is a Ford, but not all Fords would be allowed on the track. I'm very precisely talking about a Mustang for this track. On this particular day, they only want Mustangs on the track. It doesn't make sense to call it, to just say Ford. But the ultra ironic part of him linking this case, and I don't know if he just didn't read it or if he actually, maybe he truly does have poor reading comprehension, okay? Now, whew, I need you to turn your brains on for a moment, okay? Because this is, we're gonna, we're gonna be on one right now, okay? We're gonna be diving into the pedantry of this, all right? It is important, I think. In considering whether a perpetrator had the requisite mens rea, regard must be had to his mode of participation in the given crime. Under the Bicicero indictment, I'm not gonna to try to pronounce half these names, um, Elizaphan was convicted of aiding and abetting genocide, while Gerard was convicted of committing genocide. The requisite mens rea for aiding and abetting genocide is the accomplice's knowledge of the genocidal intent of the principal perpetrators. So what this particular part of this case was considering was, here is the question, and it's so funny because it so perfectly illustrates my point, and it perfectly illustrates that Norm has no idea what he's talking about here. Um, here's what's happening right now. For genocide, to commit a, ge to, to do a genocidal thing, you have to have the dolus specialis, and then I think it's actus reus, or dolus actus or something, there's some other dumb, dumb Latin term. You have to do a thing, okay? Um, you need to have the dola specialis. This is the intent to commit genocide, the special intent. Dola specialis, the special intent. Anytime you read special intent in a genocide document, that's what they're referring to. Dola specialis is special intent. You have to have this and you have to have the action, okay? Of, com of whatever you did that was part of like committing the genocide, right? What this case was trying to figure out though was another guy over here Okay, another guy over here, he helped this guy. He aided this guy, all right? But what the court was trying to figure out is if he's aiding and abetting in a genocide, does it count if he doesn't have dola specialis? Because typically we'd say you need the special intent to commit genocide. Having the mens rea of helping him, having the criminal mind of helping him commit a crime isn't enough to get you to genocide. The mens rea of committing the crime, that's not enough. You need the special intent to commit genocide. And we don't know if aiding and abetting somebody, killing somebody who's committing genocide, also makes you as aiding and abetting a genocide. And what the court found was the court said that, well, if you know of his special intent, so if you know his dola specialis to commit genocide, and then you have the prerequisite mens rea to help him kill somebody, then we can be said that the transference occurs there that you have now aided and abetted in genocide and you can be held culpable. But the analysis here to get him to a, a genocide related charge means that he needs to be aware of his dola specialis. And if he does know about his genocidal intent, then we can say that he's aided and abetted in genocide as long as he meets the mens rea for having aided and abetted in that particular crime and he has the knowledge of his dola specialis. Okay, sorry. So I'm giving you a little bit of background on what they're trying to prove here. And then that's what this is about. From the evidence, the trial chamber found that the attackers in Besicero had the dola specialis, the specific genocidal intent. Furthermore, in the view of the appeals chamber, it is clear that Elizabeth knew of this intent that's the guy who's convicted of aiding and abetting. Since he knew of the dola specialis, the trial chamber found that um, Elizabeth was present during several attacks on refugees in Besicero, including situations where the armed attackers saying, exterminate them, kill them, blah, 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 while chasing and killing Tutsis. It is from this, as well as from Iris transporting the armed attackers and directing them towards fleeing Tutsi refugees, that the trial chamber found that Elizabeth uh, had the requisite intent to commit genocide. Um, so his mens rea here is coming from the dola specialis of the other group, is, is where it's coming from, from their genocidal intent, um, convicting him of aiding and abetting genocide. In the view of the appeals chamber, it is not necessary to consider whether the trial chamber correctly concluded that Elizabeth had the 
uh, dola specialis, the specific intent to commit genocide. We don't need that for him because given that it convicted him of, uh, not of committing that crime, but rather of aiding and abetting the genocide, a mode of criminal participation which does not require the dola specialis. The appeals chamber finds that Elizabeth knew of the genocidal intent. He knew the dola specialis, okay, on that picture. He knew about the other guys, dola specialis, of the attackers whom he aided and abetted in the perpetration of genocide in Bicicero, um, and therefore that he possessed the requisite mens rea for that crime. <laughs> So that's what this means here, okay? I'm, I'm, it's not, I'm trying to say it's not that complicated. I don't think it's that complicated, but maybe it's because I've like read about all this shit now, an autistic amount, not even autistic amount. Did these distinguished judges err by referring to mens rea and not dola specialis? Him typing this out here means that he had absolutely no understanding of what he just read here. He has no idea because this whole part, and if you actually click through and you actually read through some of the document, now I'll be honest, I didn't have time to read all 91 fucking pages of this, but I was skimming it. I was reading a few paragraphs because I was curious. Okay, well, maybe they do. Do they use the terms interchangeably in here? They don't. Dola specialis is the special intent required for genocide. It is a special form of mens rea that is elevated from an ordinary state of mind to commit a criminal act. And they say as much when they talk about this, in its judgment, the trial chamber followed the approach adopted by the uh, Akeyusu trial, uh, trial chamber that the dola specialis required for genocide was required for each mode of participation under Article 6, subsection 1 of the statute, including aiding and abetting. So here, a prior trial chamber had ruled that, oh, well, you need dola specialis to aid and abet in genocide. But what this court found was surprisingly, when considering the mens rea requirement for complicity under Article 2.3e of the statute, the trial chamber in Akeyasu considered that it implies in general that at the moment he acted, the accomplice knew of the assistance he was providing in the commission of the principal offense. In other words, the accomplice must have acted knowingly. Knowingly in the context of genocide means knowledge of the principal offenders, dola specialis. The trial chamber in Akiusu summarized its position as following. In conclusion, the chamber is of the opinion that an accused is liable as an accomplice to genocide if he knowingly aided or abetted or instigated, this is the mens rea, you knowingly aid or abetted, abet or instigated um, one or more persons in the commission of genocide while knowing that such a person or persons were committing genocide meaning having, having the dola specialis, even though the accused himself did not have the dola specialis uh, to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group as such. Do we understand? Do you understand this? Am I making sense here? So what it's saying is, let's say I've got a friend and he says, I want to kill all Indians. And I go, well, I mean, I don't know if I want to kill any. I don't think I want to kill all Indians, but he wants to like buy weapons from me. And I'm like, okay, I know you're, I know you want to kill all Indians, okay? And I'm going to sell you weapons knowing that, okay? I'm going to sell you weapons knowing you're going to go kill Indians. I have the mens rea there, but I don't have the dola specialis. I'm not committing genocide. I just have the mens rea of doing an illegal action, which is selling him weapons knowing he's going to intend to use them harmfully. But if I know that he, has that special genocidal intent. If he has the dola specialis and I know that, then my mens rea is enough to convict me of a genocide related crime because I know about his genocidal intent and I'm still choosing the mens rea aspect, the criminal intent, I'm still choosing to engage with him in a criminal way. That's what this court was talking about in the section that Norm highlighted here. Um, huh. I was stating the obvious that the critical point of contention in a genocide case is proving criminal intent. No, it is not. That is not the critical point of contention. The critical point is the dola specialis. That is the critical aspect. It is one of two vital elements. It is one of two vital necessary uh, elements in order to be convicted. You need the dola specialis and you need an, an, another action because saying mens rea isn't specific enough because, um, because we could say, uh, Let's say that I go to some group of people, where is it? Let's say that I go to a bunch of Palestinians or a bunch of black people, whatever, and I just start killing them. And I boom, 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 and I kill them. I'm like, oh, what'd you do? I was like, ah, I wanted to kill these guys today, boom. I would have mens rea, the mens rea thing of killing a person would be there, and then the act would be there. Is that genocide? No, why isn't it genocide? We got the mens rea and the act itself. Ah, because you didn't have the special genocidal intent. The special genocidal intent. But yes, okay. 
I was pointing out the obvious that the critical point of contention in a genocide case is proving criminal intent. And of course, everyone in the room understood that the threshold under the genocide convention is proving cr criminal intent to commit genocide. This is not true as well, which is why we just saw up here that a person could be convicted of a genocidal crime without having that special intent to commit genocide if he was aware that a person he was aiding and abetting did have that dolo specialis to commit genocide. Do we, does this make sense now? Speaking of fantastic words, I wonder how Mr. Vermicelli was doing. But anyway, um, I felt like I had like 70% conviction on this point walking into that debate, but I decided to fight on it anyway. And now after reading this, now I have like 98% conviction on this point because this court case that he links completely and perfectly illustrates the point that I was trying to make. <laughs> um, yeah. I really think you're wrong here. The mens rea or the mental state has to be dola specialis or special intent. The mens rea can or cannot be dola specialis to commit genocide. The mens rea? I don't, your sentence doesn't make any sense. Um, then how do you explain people like this, tiny? It's the community note, not a good explanation. Oh, it went back. Um, let's see. The community note says mens rea is a general term denoting any criminal intent, not the specific intent required to commit genocide. That is true. The ICJ case presented by South Africa does not contain the word mens rea and contains the term dolus specialis four times. That's also true. Yeah, of course. Because why would you say, you wouldn't say mens rea when you're talking about genocide. You just It doesn't make any sense to use it here. It just doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something here? I'm pretty sure this document confirms what Finkelstein was saying about these two terms. Maybe I'm wrong. Fink said the mens rea refers to intent to commit a crime, in this case genocide, whereas dolus specialis refers to the concrete application of that genocidal intent or the actual committing of the crime. No, okay. I don't know if people are being bad faith here. I see some people saying this in chat or, 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 or can't follow the logic chain or what's being said. If I would have said the dolus specialis to commit genocide. If Finkelstein would have said, um, oh, you're talking about like the mens rea needed to, to, the mens rea needed for a genocide conviction, I still might have pushed back a little. It was like, okay, sure, but we call it, it's a specific intent, it's not just a mens rea, but that would be kind of correct. Norman Finkelstein did not say mens rea to broaden or whatever, he was correcting me. He was correcting me, implying that my terminology was wrong. Again, that would be like saying, I have a Ford Focus RS, and someone saying, that's a Ford. Based on my understanding of this document, the court is saying that someone can aid in the application of genocide dolus specialis, despite themselves not holding genocidal intent, mens rea, no, he, no. Genocidal intent is, dola specialis, I'm pretty sure it just means special intent in English. Wow, who uses Latin? It's actually so cringe. Special deceit? Special trick? What is special intent? <laughs> okay, I don't know why it translates that. Listen, ask the law people, okay? Um, Dolus specialis, despite the, not themselves holding genocidal intent, mens rea, so long as they're aware that the mens rea exists. Wait, I don't, now I'm curious, what does mens rea actually translate this to? If his initial statement during the debate was just a clarification that he knew that dolus specialis was kind of mens rea, then it would have been fine, right? Well, no, because mens rea is not a clarifying term. What's the opposite of clarifying? It's a obfuscating term. Again, it'd be like saying like, oh, um, like, oh, I left my iPhone at the at my house. And somebody's like, you mean you left your cell phone? What? what? Oh, we were watching this, okay. Yeah, you're jealous. Can't believe someone gets under your skin so much. No, don't ban that guy. That's awesome. Just finished a JP debate and was surprised to see how much his fans enjoy the discussion and liked your performance. Congratulations, me and your mom are proud. Thanks. You're right, Chatter. You caught me. You caught me, Chatter. I'm jealous of two-time divorced, zero friend having, only <laughs> fucking manipulating people in his or. <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Two times divorced. Damn, we're reaching back to the... 
2009 there. Okay. But I mean, as opposed to what? The zero times married? I mean, like, what? Okay. <laughs> zero friend having, only manipulating people in his orbit. <laughs> Why? He even has the, he even has the anti-fan lingo down. Jesus. My God. by uh, offering them a crumb of clout dude who f left his child and his first wife behind to go f fan's girlfriend married the fan's girlfriend only to get divorced by the fan's girlfriend <sighs> how does he have so much detail look holy shit oh my god it was getting f ripped to shreds i'm fucking so jealous dude like wait hold on if he has all this information, okay, for real. We need more contributors to the uh, DGG wiki, all right? We, we've got some really high quality articles on here. If you're a lore expert, all right, and you're a sub in chat, you should log into the wiki and start writing articles. Hassan should start submitting, okay? He's got so much information. He seems so knowledgeable. He could be a main contributor. I'm f so jealous, dude. Like, there, there are things you could have said in here that would have, like, maybe garnered some level of support, but writers of Mr. Bonarelli are so divorced from reality, just like their daddy is divorced two times, to any <laughs> normal person that hears what you are saying to go, really? You, you think, like... Do you think he writes these... He might, do you think he writes these down before stream? We need to do an eye an eye tracker analysis. Do you think he writes these down as like reading them off or oh my god. I think this dude is jealous of like a genuinely legitimately radioactive individual, five foot four, can't grow a <laughs> normal beard, literally has zero normal friends, constantly in a state of panic, duking it out with like every single person that he's ever encountered regularly, burning <laughs> He must, this, ha this has to be prepared. He must have sat down and like, all right, <laughs> we're getting it all here, okay? Burning bridges and holding that up as like some kind of intellectual standing. Got fucking cumstered once he bit more than he can chew as far as like duking it out with a dude who actually knows what he's talking about and is just as stubborn. There are definitely things that you could say, but I mean, you're comparing me to an objectively objectively miserable person True. yeah why can't i defend genocide in your subreddit exactly that's how we started off by the way <laughs> stop <laughs> last time i was in here you said you and d are as bad as each other you can't go five minutes without mentioning the other also insane because my i don't mention destiny uh i don't mention destiny policy only recently was destroyed due to his unhinged pro-genocide takes. That dude has been basically f living in that universe. I wasn't talking about Destiny either. You Who has Hassan talked to this year? One video with Divorce Man and all of a sudden you're obsessed with him? I know. By that very same metric, Destiny has been... Oh my god, what happened? What happened? Yeah, your jeans are all f what do you mean I sound ancient? You sound like an old person. You don't think we had ripped jeans when I was in high school? Exactly, so why are you saying that? Shut up, you don't know anything. Just because you're 19, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, I had another link open. Oh, wait, there's another super chat. She's not actually 19, she's 18. Just finished JP debate and was surprised to see how- Oh wait, I thought there was another super chat. Uh, oh, you think now that you've done the in with Shapiro and Peterson, they'd come on Burgess to chat? I have no idea. Amazing work on the debates. It's been great to watch. Have you thought on physical presence, like how you sit, speak, and respond in these discussions? No, not as much. That shit's lame. Don't care. Suck my dick. I'm getting, I ordered even more t-shirts. You, that new red one you saw for me yesterday, that was a fresh new, a fresh new t-shirt. I'm getting the best t-shirts, the best sweatpants. That is my uniform. And I do it just to spite you. I do. I literally do it to spite you. I know there's people in chat like, oh, why are you? Why are you just wear a suit? Oh! Why do you speak differently on stream versus on other people's platforms? I'm swear I'm not tripping, but there's a lisp or something. Um, usually, if I'm coming to stream, uh, I'm I'm starting in my apartment, which means I probably just spent the last like two or three hours your mom, and she 
makes me silly sometimes. So I constantly concentrate and I can't even, I can't even concentrate because I'm just thinking about mom. Um. Wait, we didn't finish this. Psychopathically obsessed for years, which he really is. I mean, he's made you're obsessed with him. I know. By that very same metric, Destiny has been psychopathically obsessed for years, which he really is. I mean, he's made hundreds of videos about me over the course of the past four or five years now. Hundreds. And he tries to justify it by saying, oh, he's because he's like a really big political figure. A really big political figure that we're supposed to be in agreement on because he's supposedly a liberal or a progressive. <laughs> Wait, what? What would we be in agreement on, mother You're a tanky. We don't agree on anything. F liberal people on the left or the right. In fact, I thought about this yesterday. Um, I, don't, I have no formal way of figuring this out. This paradigm of left versus right, where well, you've got a continuum, <clears throat> This paradigm, truly, if you're, if you're speaking about plotting different people, really has to be restricted to certain political views. Um, this paradigm only works when you're talking about like comparing liberals to liberals, like people who are part of the overall like movement of liberalism. So we can put like Republicans, um, we can put like Democrats, uh, you can go down here and get like progressives. Um, you can probably put like libertarians potentially here, but it only works with liberals. But once you start running into people that are anti-liberal, so when you get to like, wait, I can't write up here anymore. Um, over here, you'd have like communists, uh, socialists, real ones, not like progressives who are like sock dem or whatever, like actual like commies and socialists. And then over to the far right, when you get to people like, um, Christian nationalists, authoritarians, fascists, um, I don't know, anything like, whatever is illiberal. You can't really put them on the same spectrum. Like, you don't go a little bit to the left of, you don't go a little bit to the left of liberal and become illiberal. You don't, or, I'm sorry, I'm using, I just used two different versions of liberal. You don't go further to the left of Democrat and then become progressive and then lose your liberalism and you're still on the same spectrum. It's a totally different thing. Uh, I have about as much in common with Hassan as I would have with a Nazi. Uh, once you've abandoned any concept of uh, Bill of Rights related stuff, of uh, private property rights, of you know government ensuring your rights to different freedoms, once you've abandoned all of that in favor of some other hierarchical organizi organizing principle for society, uh, we're, we're I'm totally, we're out of sync on everything. There's nothing there anymore to be related to one another. Eliminator, thanks to the five gifted subs. So the idea that we're supposed to line up on anything, and Hassan's community knows this. That's why in Hassan's community, liberal is an insult. When you call somebody a liberal in his community, that's an insult. Probably more than, than, than calling them a conservative. Do you notice JP leaning forward aggressively, or did you take it that way? Uh, a little bit, I just thought he was excited, I don't know. Do you think Jonathan Haidt's moral matrix theory maps onto current progressives, or do you think they're more conservative? Uh, I don't know. I haven't done looked at much of Haidt's stuff. I only read that one article of his a long time ago, the coddling of the American mind or something. Thorne and Monte Cristo had a 10-minute cope session. Wait, hold on. Aggressive. Then their counter always is, well, uh, Ben Shapiro. You do a lot of videos about Ben Shapiro. Of course I do. A lot of videos about Ben Shapiro. I hate Ben Shapiro. I disagree with Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro is a reactionary conservative. Um, Dan is looking rough. Hey, f you, I miss poke. Bitch. I look fine. I look pretty damn good for 40 years old. All right? I don't know how the f How did I get to be 40? One you know year at a time. wild that shit is that I'm 40? I feel like I'm 24, but I'm 40. Somehow. Shit is <laughs> Why was this clipped? What like, are we... Really fucked up. Okay, all right. In case you missed it, the name he read out was I Miss Poke. Oh. Okay, good one. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. Steve, did you call me anti-Semitic? What? I don't know. No, wait. <laughs> it's, I don't think Lycan is anti-Semitic. I just, I, I'm like, um, I'm online poisoned. This would remind me of like when Melina would ask me, Oh, like, do you think we'll be together forever or whatever? And I'm like, I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> I, I, 
don't know what am I supposed to say? I can't I can't read the future. I don't know 100%. Listen, I don't I try not to stake strong positions on things that I don't know 1 billion percent. I don't fucking know if like is anti semitic. He probably not. I don't think he is. Kind of like how Destiny aids the application of the Israeli genocide by lying about it despite not having any desire to genocide the Palestinians himself that we know of. Oh, you know what? Even though he kind of fucks the terms up here and misunderstands, yeah, this example kind of works. <laughs> You had it translating from Swedish? Wait, oh wait, did I? No, I didn't. That's click to translate from Swedish. Wait. Oh wait, what? Wait, why did, did it just change? Am I, am, wait, what the fuck just happened? Am I getting trolled right now? Wait, what the fuck just, did it just sh Oh wait, you guys can't even see it because my camera's, I don't know if I, I don't like my camera wait, up why here. Did August said my camera is better up here. Do you think it is? He says it's better up here because if I watch other streamers react to me or whatever, it, we don't block their. Fuck August. We're coming back down here, boys. Give me some claps. We're back. We're we're so back. Would Sabra, Sab, um, Sabra Shatila be a good example of that distinction? The Lebanese army had dolus. Israel could be argued had mens rea. Hmm, maybe, possibly, possibly. That's the lie. What? Well, if Nick Fuentes reacts to his cameo appearance in the Mind of Destiny Turkey Tome documentary. You should just read the UN explanation every time it comes up. Oh, I almost actually responded with this yesterday, but then the, the studio setup stuff got way more complicated. A mental element, the, oh. The intent is the most difficult element to determine. To constitute genocide, there must be a proven intent on the part of perpetrators to physically destroy a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group. Cultural destruction does not suffice. suffice. Why do I keep suffice? Suffice to say. Suffice. 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 Does not suffice. Nor does an intention to simply disperse a group. It is the special intent or dolus specialis that makes the crime of genocide so unique. In addition, case law is associated with intent with the existence of a state or organizational plan or policy. Even if the definition of genocide in international law does not include this element. Several gunmen burst into a large concert hall on the edge of Moscow on Friday and sprayed visitors with automatic gunfire, killing at least 40 and injuring 100 others in an attack that came just days after President Vladimir Putin cemented his grip. This happened, or this is ongoing? Is it all done now, or? Ongoing? They got away? No shot, they got away? Um, there were no immediate claims of responsibility for the raid, which Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin described as a huge tragedy and which state authorities were investigating as an act of terrorism. It was the deadliest attack in Russia in years and came as the country's war in Ukraine dragged into a third year. Russia's Federal Security Service, the main domestic security and counterterrorism agency, said 40 people were killed and more than 100 were wounded in the attack at Crocus City Hall, a large music venue on Moscow's western edge. 
Russian news reports said that the assailants threw explosives, triggering the massive blaze at the hall, which can accommodate 6,000. Video from outside showed the building on fire with a huge cloud of smoke rising through the night sky. The street was lit up by the blinking blue lights of dozens of fire trucks, ambulances, and other emergency vehicles. I think there's one thing I haven't sealed yet. Hold on, let me listen. <sighs> okay. Wind solved. Don't watch these on stream. The moment of the shooting of visitors in the Crocus Hall. Wait, why is it already empty? Did they like explode it before shooting people? What, are these people injured or why are these people just sitting there watching the shooting happen? Why wouldn't they be fucking running? There's just like a pile of people in the corner that are just shooting and killing. Bro, I can't imagine being in this mall. This guy is just like on this catwalk above, just like filming this and leaning over and filming it. Holy shit. shot of the place on fire. It's actually tenant in real life. Какие-то люди стреляют. Okay, I would say it's bad, but if it's terrorism for Palestine, hashtag armed resistance, okay? Russia killed a shit ton of Islamist militants recently. It's likely going to be a race to claim responsibility and the RU government will amplify whatever serves them. Wait, like in Syria or something or where? Or in or within Russia? Oh, Chechnya. Extended rounds of gunfire could be heard in videos posted by Russian media and on Telegram channels. One showed two men with rifles moving through the venue. Another showed a man inside the auditorium saying the assailants had set it on fire as gunshots rang out incessantly in the background. Other videos showed up to four attackers armed with assault rifles and wearing caps who were shooting screaming people at point blank range. Andrei Vorobyov, Vorobyov, the governor of the Moscow region said he was heading to the area and set up a task force to deal with the damage. He didn't offer further details. Russian media reports said the riot police units were being sent to the area as people were being evacuated. Russian authorities said security was tightened as Mos at Moscow's airports and railway stations, while the Moscow mayor canceled all mass gatherings scheduled for the weekend. 
White House National Security Advisor John Kirby said Friday that he couldn't yet speak about all the details, but that the images are just horrible and just hard to watch. Any advice for somebody who wants to, start, wants to start making political content? Bro, I don't know. I got the advice. I know what they should do. Not? Start going to viewer call-ins. Oh. Getting your name out there. That's like the best strategy. You gotta come in with a really strong pick though. Jesus. Three individuals from the majority Muslim region of Ingushetia in southern Russia, between North Ossetia and Chechnya, have reportedly now had a warrant placed for their arrest in connection to the terrorist attack tonight against the Crocus Consul in Moscow. How do you get away from this? Did they just get in a car and drive away? Do you think that random filmmakers should be allowed to make Marvel movies, or where do you draw the line with license coverage? I think that copyrights on like characters and shit. I think that should last for five years. You're, you actually are a communist. Okay. Apple gets the message. RCS coming to iPhone in 2024 with same universal profile as Android. Gotcha. Look at the response time for SFB. It took them an hour and 20 minutes. Really? Security alert. Avoid large gatherings for the next 48 hours. The embassy is monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts, and U.S. citizens should be advised to avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours. Oof. I wonder how specific their intel was. This was issued two weeks ago? Oh. Oh, this this is this might be connected, it might not be connected, who knows? The fuck is this? It's connected. What are you even talking about? That's how analysis works. If you're retarded, why would you type that in my chat? If you're retarded, just don't type anything. You don't have to. You don't have to have an opinion on everything. They fled in an ambulance. Remember, no Russian. Shut the fuck up. Point of view. You're hostage. You're a hostage at the Beslan School Siege and the Spetsnaz have begun room clearing. Make sure to buy your Hassan Piker Capitalism in Decay merchandise now. Based. If our place comes back this year, will you be participating? Oh God, that's gonna be an insane. Not really, I'll be super dominant on the Palestinian side. Oh no, because Israel and the US, we're gonna be fighting. Israel and destiny, okay? We're gonna be fighting hard against the- Dude, it's gonna be like 95% of Reddit on nah, the other side. No shot, smoked. no shot. We're gonna bring in the Indians to help us. It's gonna be, we're gonna find Europe? I think Europe Is this how we us. solve the conflict? Europe Is will help it? us because they don't like all the Muslims and shit. We'll win. What about, what about if our place is an actual map of Israel and at the end of the timer, whoever has what space, that's what land they get. For real.
We need we need DGG and Israeli art made. Oh god, that'll be the end of it too. I'll forever be a Mossad shell. Um, oh, okay, what is this? Russian media is claiming that one of the vehicles that the terrorists who attacked the Crocus Concert Hall in Moscow arrived in was a white minibus with an old Ukrainian license plate. The vehicle is currently being searched like the others were for explosives. The White House has stated that at the moment there is no indication that Ukraine or Ukrainians were involved in the terrorist attack tonight on the Krokus Concert Hall in the Russian capital of Moscow. One of the worst lasting consequences of the intelligence failures of the second Iraq war was that dipshits like this guy will never accept at face value anything these agencies say. The truth is that US intelligence are very, very, very good at their jobs. That's how we know. Okay. That's a Belarusian license plate? Okay, I have no idea. The Ukrainian license plate on your suspicious white van is from Belarus. Someone just decided to blur out the left side. Is that supposed to prove, what does a Ukrainian license plate look like? I don't even fucking know, okay. At Destiny, it's very unlikely they all got away. Russia's going to work very hard to drive the narrative from that attack. <laughs> 